Good morning. Good morning. Hey Pam, where are you at? In a wind tunnel. <laughs> it's a little breezy today. We're at Disneyland. Yeah, we're at Disneyland today. We're celebrating the holidays. We only have a few more days before we are blocked out. Mm -hmm. So we're going to take the omnibus one way down to the castle. And then I think we're park hopping today. I think we're going to California Adventure to kind of partake in some goodness mm -hmm. uh, with the festival holiday festival 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 of holidays right. down there. Get some get some foods to eat. Yep. Um, and what did you want to do today? I want to go see the treehouse. Ooh, I saw the treehouse. I think you're gonna like it. Yeah. Yeah. Watch out for pecking ostriches. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's go. We're ready. Go. Here we go. There's Chip and Dale down there greeting folks. And there's and there's Goofy in his baker's outfit. I was going to keep pizza that magic word and a few happy thoughts. We are now on our way. My name is Matt and I'll be your handsome and charming driver today. On my right foreground, there's my good pal Goofy having a few pictures taken, signing a few autographs as well. And straight up ahead in front of the opera house, there's my good pal Pluto. Well, you're not going to believe this. The little yellow car in my right foreground today is the 66th anniversary of the car being here at Disneyland. So wow. I think a little yellow car. On the other side of the opera house, there's Donald Duck. And on my far right, way over there in the corner, there's my boss, the big cheese himself, Mickey Mouse. And in front of the Disney showcase, there's Minnie Mouse. Well, but now I'm sure you've seen the Disneyland Christmas tree. The tree stands 60 feet high, so the tree's a high star up on top. It has over 2,000 custom-made ornaments and over 75,000 lights. And the total weight of the decorated tree is 12 tons. It took me almost an hour to decorate that tree. I hope you all appreciate that. We're about to head down Main Street, USA. Main Street here at Disneyland was designed to show you a small town America was like over a century ago. It was modeled after Walt Disney's boy hometown of Marshall, Missouri, although Walt Disney was born in Chicago, Illinois. On my right is the Market House, a great place to drop in and enjoy a fresh and good cup of Starbucks java. On my left foreground, here comes Gus the horse. You know, Gus is the only talking horse here at Disneyland. Ah, uh, good morning, Gus. Uh, Gus isn't talking too much today. I think he's a little horse. On my left is a candy palace, a virtual window on the street for sweets and fruit and nostalgia candy, such as caramel apple and saltwater taffy and homemade fun. Well, just last week, Disneyland interviewed all seven of Snow White's seven dwarfs, and you know what they found out? Six of the seven dwarfs were not happy. Six of the seven dwarfs were not happy. Well, there's three. And ten. On my far left are the entrances to Adventureland, Frontierland, Christmas, and Orleans Square and Star Wars Galaxy's Edge through the castle and adjacent to the castle on the entrance of the Fence Land of Houston and coming up on my right the entrance to Tomorrowland. Don't forget the Christmas Fantasy Parade at 3.30 to 6.30 this afternoon and the fireworks spectacular at 9.30. Keep in mind fireworks show is always dependent upon the wind conditions at that time. We are coming to the end of our run. I want to thank you all for choosing your run on the other bus for discovering the joy of motoring. Make sure you have all of your personal belongings and most importantly, please stay fully suited until the bus comes to a complete stop. Thank you.
I'm afraid it's gonna blow off. Yeah, hey, you're probably right. I have my Christmas hat on. Yeah. I mean, I have my Christmas hat with me. Okay, let's head over to uh, the tree house the tree because house. I don't think it's gonna be busy first thing in the morning. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay. Hey, they're even decorated for Christmas at the Jungle Cruise. They have a with I have a Christmas tree up there with banana garland. Oh, and fish guts. We took a pit stop. We had the smells of Bengal barbecue wafting in the air. So we have a mobile order. We're waiting for our turn. Waiting for the screen to turn purple so we can go pick up our food. All right, it's our turn. Hi, nine five six six. Thank you so much. Pam already has a seat for us. Look at that tiger tail. Looks pretty good. Look at that tiger tail, Pam. Oh, that looks good. Looks pretty good. I don't know that I've ever had a tiger tail before. I don't before. think I have either. And you, you try it. Okay. Bread. Oh, is it cheesy bready? Mm -hmm. Cheesy bready. I don't know who taught me how to talk. A little lemon squirt on that asparagus. I'll even make these at home because this is totally simple. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Well, my asparagus was really good, but on. Uh, my taste of the bread <clears throat> i didn't care for it i know it had rosemary in it and i'm not i don't care for the, the taste of rosemary and i'm really not a picky eater <laughs> like i pretty much eat whatever's put in front of me but uh, the rosemary was pretty strong and you said that that's not what i wanted i know for some reason i thought it was a pretzel oh oh well i'm okay for getting a pretzel too maybe later yeah maybe in the meantime we're at the tree house I'm gonna be mostly filming Pam because this is her experience. We came not too long ago, about a week ago or so, to come get our own experience. Jane.
daughter studies the nighttime skies and ponders the mysteries of our beautiful universe. And then you get the beautiful view. Wow, you can see the Disneyland Hotel from here. Mm. Holy cow. Yeah. And you can see where they're building on Splash Mountain. Oh, you're right. Wow, that was a good view because you're taller than me. I'll go first because it gets a little steep okay. going down. I told Pam when I was on this attraction a couple of weeks ago that it's pretty steep to get back down. So you need to be careful. Make sure and use the handrails. I think that's the music room. Oh, really like to see Disney Imagineers like redo the water fountain so that it fits in the land and that uh, people would use it to fill up their water bottles. Pam, tell me how come they put the horseshoes like that? So the luck doesn't run out. Oh, the luck doesn't run out. See, she's so smart. We're going to do a little bit of shopping. It's already almost 1030 and then we're going to head over to uh, California Adventure start eating over there. Is that made out of terry cloth? Terry cloth. Yeah. Yeah, terry cloth. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Yeah. Or do you, there's black and there's well light brown. Oh, maybe the light brown one would do you better. I think we say cute thing and like Disney characters. I don't like the light brown. Uh-uh. It doesn't work. Mm-mm. Nope. Okay. It's that white one. There you go. Oh. It can be like mini pearl and just leave the tag on. Right. Yeah, that one looks way better. Mm. Hey, Pam. Have you ever noticed that Baloo is up there with Mowgli and Bagheera? No, I have. There's a whole bunch of Bert and Mary. Yeah, they have a lot. They even have Toy Story. Jiminy Cricket. Of course, we're in the storybook store. And they even have Hook. Peter Pan, Bambi. Wow, I think there used to be. A, oh, there is. 
a train that goes around the store. Isn't that neat? I think that's neat. There's even people in it. We're going to catch it when it comes around the corner here. Hopefully we'll be able to get a good look at it. Pam, look at the pillow pets they have. They have one of Sally. Aww. But that's not even like the major one I wanted to show you. Look at, they have... Groot. They have Groot. That's so cute. But look at... Oh, it's Doug. Look at Doug. Isn't he the best? He is. He's so soft. I know, they're so soft. They even have Yoda. Wow. Those are kind of cool. Mm -hmm. They're different from the regular pillow pets because the pillow pets snap together right. or they velcro together rather. These are considered cuddles. Oh, cuddles. But look behind you over there. They have Rex. Oh, they do have Rex. Oh, wow. He's my favorite. He is so cute. Rex is my favorite. I have a few minutes before we can head over to California Adventure, so we're going to go take a complete trip around Walt Disney's Magic Kingdom. This tunnel signals our transition from the frontier to another kind of fear. The ones you'll find on Mickey and Minnie Mouse. Our next stop is Toontown Depot, the official train station for Mickey's Toontown, the cartoon home where Mickey, Minnie, and all their friends live. Toontown Depot is also the gateway to Fantasyland, where you'll find many of your favorite Disney animated characters and stories. If you're leaving us here, please wait until the train comes to a full stop. Remember your personal belongings. If you're into soaring spaceships or doing battle with evil empires and emperors, Tomorrowland is definitely the place for you. Speaking of which, we're pulling into Tomorrowland Station right now. If you're leaving us here, just stay seated until we come to a full stop. Gather your belongings, including lightsabers and astro blasters, and step carefully from the train. Thanks, and have fun in the future. For the rest of you, just sit tight. We'll be on our way again in just a minute.
Oh, I know. Hold on. It's popping. It yeah, it's popping. Oh. You can't hear it. I can hear it. Okay, awesome. Thank you. All I can see is a reflection behind me. I just want to see the popcorn come down. I'll wait. a champion today. Wow. Hold on. Let's clean that up. I'm trying to get the ones that are getting ready. Wow. Yeah. Okay. No, no, that comes a win. Go over to the other side? Yeah. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can't take me nowhere. I don't know how. So we don't lose it all. I know it's windy. There you go. Thanks. You're welcome. I like these because I can make a uh, microwave uh, popcorn bag and it fits perfectly inside here. Hey. Okay. We are using our <laughs> lanyard. It's breezy today. Yeah. And we ended up getting a barbacoa tamale with huaca cheese, tomatillo salsa, and crema. You try it first. Cheers. Is. I had high hopes for this one. But I think it's probably just because it's tamale season. Is it spicy? <laughs> yeah. It tastes <clears throat> like the tamale they used to have at Flo's. Oh, that's probably the same darn thing, huh? I just make it to look at it pop. I know I'm gonna be stuck eating this. Shoot. Let's see, you see the green sauce and the crema. Look at that. Check that out. Oh yeah, that has a bite. Holy cow. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? You need to eat the part that doesn't have the so I don't know that the inside is hot. That's, that to me just, it feels like it's all tomatillo sauce mm. that's spicy. But I like it. It is yeah. spicy. Oh. All right. I'm going to see what Pam looks like after this. <laughs> Pam says, let's try the meat. Oh, Ooh, there's plenty like the of cheese. cheese in there. Here's meat right here. Oh, that's a lot of meat and cheese right there. Mm-hmm. Look at that. That's pretty good. Can you hear the violins in the background? They have little kids here playing on stage. Oh my gosh. That was, really that was pretty good. I'll admit that was pretty good. This is the Samala String Orchestra. C-E-M-A-L-A. -E -A -A. Oh, I guess it could be Samala. Like, how do you? Pamela? Samala? Yeah. Dream older. So they're just little kids though. They look like they're in middle school. Fifth or sixth grade, seventh grade maybe, yeah. Yeah, it could be middle school. Wow. Would you get this again? Yes. Even though it's spicy, spicy? Even though it's spicy. Yes, I Ooh. would. 
Alright, enjoy. It was really good. My mouth is on fire. Yeah, I, I believe you. Ooh. I need something to cool it down. Mm, ice cream. <laughs> Wanna go for ice cream? Yeah, let's go. Okay, where to? Clarabelle's. Clarabelle's? Mm -hmm. I don't know what they have over there. I haven't been there in a no, long time. I haven't been in there I think either. the last time I've been there is when we got the kitchen sinks. Yes. Where it had like five scoops of ice cream. It was and, a lot. <laughs> it was a lot. They have plenty of stuff to choose from here that you can get ice cream in. And they have the star. They find a sign that tells me what goes inside it. They have the magic key ears. So the star, Wish Star, is a sipper for $17 and includes a fountain beverage. Pam wants to get a banana split. Oh yeah, banana split. Vanilla and strawberry ice cream. I'm gonna get two. Chocolate sauce. Two? Yeah, one for each Oh, I don't need, it I don't need like that. Exactly. Yeah, just get one. Two. Uh, chocolate sauce, oat milk, whipped toffee, chopped peanuts, banana, and a maraschino cherry. Oh look, they have a snowball hard float too. That's eighteen dollars. Mm, usually, when I see hard, it means uh, that there's liquor in it. But I don't. Cranberry, pomegranate, seltzer. Oh, uh, vanilla ice cream, cranberry sauce drizzle, and a rosemary garnish. So you can just throw that rosemary garnish away. That looks pretty good. And then Mickey's birthday cake sundae. They also have hand dipped ice cream bars. Ice cream floats, scoops and cups. Oh, a triple scoop Sunday. I'm sitting clear across the room. Pam had a hard time finding me, but here she comes with our snack. Oh yeah, see that's plenty big. And water to wash this down. That's good. I don't think I've ever had a banana split before. It's my first time too. <laughs> Cheers this. Okay, you go ahead. Since it's your first time. Yeah. It said strawberry and vanilla ice cream, huh? I guess maybe they don't want to put chocolate because it overdoes it, maybe? Like a little bit too rich, maybe? It's fine. They're just terrible. fine? It's just fine? It's just fine. The only thing I'm missing is a bite of banana, but I'm okay with that. Mm. I like that. That's pretty good. Not I'll bad. take it. Not too bad at all. Good choice. See, all of a sudden my mouth's not hot anymore. You can tell by looking at the water just blowing in the wind that it's a bit breezy here today. Well, that was a sneaky trick. I know. <laughs> Sorry. I, I wanted you to take the first bite, but you wouldn't do it. You so made me do it. we're eating the ice cream and we're we're finished. And Pam, <laughs> sneaky snake. Uh -huh. She goes, uh, that was a vegan ice cream. What? <laughs> She goes, everything, you couldn't. Everything was plant based. She goes, you couldn't tell. And I'm like, well, I wouldn't have gotten it had I known I that know. it was vegan. She said she didn't know either until the guy told her after she ordered it. Uh -huh. And uh, she goes, but we ate it. And I go, yeah, I ate it. But now it's like, oh, because I, I don't want to eat too much ice cream. I don't want it to go through me. There's no dairy in this. <laughs> what do you mean there's no dairy? I, I was waiting to tell you. Oh my gosh. Like, did you really like that ice cream? <laughs> I did. I liked it. I wouldn't get it again though. No. Now I know. Because now I know. You, you know. do know. Yeah. All right, let's go home. We're done today. Yeah. All right. Until we circle back around. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.